Poetry Moment, read by Clarica. Wishes for the Supposed Mistress by Richard Crashaw Whoe'er she be, that not impossible she, that shall command my heart and me. Where'er she lie, locked up from mortal eye, in shady leaves of destiny, till that ripe birth of studied fate stand forth, and teach her fair steps to our earth, till that divine idea take a shrine of crystal flush through which to shine. Meet you her, my wishes, bespeak her to my blisses, and be ye called my absent kisses. I wish her beauty that owes not all its duty to gaudy tire or glistering shoe tie. Something more than taffeta or tissue can, or rampant feather or rich fan. A face that's best by its own beauty dressed, and can alone commend the rest. A face made up out of no other shop than what nature's white hand sets ope. Sydneyan showers of sweet discourse, whose powers can crown old winter's head with flowers. Whate'er delight can make day's forehead bright, or give down to the wings of night. Soft silken hours, open suns, shady bowers, above all, nothing within that lowers. Days that need borrow, no part of their good morrow, from a fortnight spent of sorrow. Days that in spite of darkness, by the light of a clear mind, are day all night. Life that dares send a challenge to his end, and when it comes, Say welcome, friend. I wish her store of worth may leave her poor of wishes, and I wish no more. Now if time knows that her, whose radiant brows, weave them a garland of my vows, her that dares be what these lines wish to see, I seek no further, it is she. Tis she, and here, lo, I unclothe and clear my wishes' cloudy character. Such worth as this is shall fix my flying wishes, and determine them to kisses. Let her full glory, my fancies, fly before ye. Be ye my fictions, but her story. Mm.